I started making music in 1994 and then sold all my equipment in 2010 and 11, around then. And then came back to making music in 2018. And I didn't really understand why I had that almost a decade off or why I completely lost my mojo for a while, didn't even want to listen to music. I mean, at least you couldn't listen to music for a while. I mean, I had to, because it was on TV shows and everything, but I just, I couldn't hear it. It actually is like a physical pain inside me, I felt. I mean, I was okay with helping other musicians, but actually thinking about the death of my previous music career, it was, it was literally like a grieving process. And for most of that decade, I just wasn't interested. I just didn't want to make music and people it's almost like they couldn't understand it's almost like they didn't believe me that i didn't want to make music i just didn't i just i mean i didn't lose my mojo it just wasn't there anymore it had disappeared and i got really excited about helping people and coaching and building this business so everything was fine then all of a sudden when i came back to making music because i'd solved the making lots of music in a very busy life problem and also realized that there was now a route to being an artist in the new music industry that I was seeing that was happening. That brought me back to making music and I found my mojo again, but I still didn't really understand what it was. I thought I did, but I didn't really understand what it was that caused me to just not be interested in making music anymore until I got the distinction between art and craft. Because I realized that while I thought what I was doing in my previous career was attempting to build a career as a music artist, what I was in fact doing was building a career as a craftist. So what is a craftist? A craftist is somebody who wants to be an artist, but who is in fact making craft. So what do I mean by craft? Essentially making more versions of what already exists. Whereas my definition of art is to make something that hasn't existed before, make something unique, to express who you are as a person, everything that that means. Your experiences, your history, other music, your emotion, your unique value, that is what it means to be an artist, creating something that is unique. And I realized that in my past career, no matter what I tried, I started in one genre, Progressive House, where back when it was starting, we were one of the first ever Progressive House bands. We were on the first ever Sasha compilation. I think it was the first ever Sasha compilation. It was called The Essential Collection and there were four tracks on it and one of them was ours. Started in Progressive House. I got bored with that once I'd kind of figured it out and moved on to something else and then moved on to something else and then moved on to something else. Was one of the first people that started Electro House and look what that turned into. It was almost like I was a musical magpie kind of going here and then going there and going somewhere else. And I was always very interested in doing something that was new, in creating new genres, playing with new things, but never really finding my own style, never really understanding what it was. And the reason that happened was because I was always trying to fit in. I was always trying to do what I thought people would like. I was always doing what I thought I should do. Because obviously, if I do anything else, then no one's going to like it because I've got to fit in. In other words, instead of being inspired by other artists and other music to find my own thing, I was too afraid to do anything other than be trapped by other artists be trapped by what I thought I should do. If craft is making better versions of what already exists, or possibly in my case, slightly worse versions of what already exists. So in other words, making generic music is craft. It's not that you're copying, it's not that you're making an exact copy of something, but you're essentially making the same type of thing. 
over and over again. Whereas art is constantly developing and finding something new. Because as human beings, we develop and we are unique at every single moment. I'm a different person now to the one I was back then. So there is always something to develop within our sound. And a true artist never stops moving forward. They don't get stuck in one place. And a lot of artists who do start out as artists end up being craftists. They start out pushing forward, developing their own unique thing, and then they get trapped by that genre that they've often created. So from being a genre definer, they turn into someone who is defined by that genre and become craftists. Now, I never created a genre. I mean, I may well have been instrumental in the development of a couple, but I never myself created a, a new genre. But really, I think what I was missing was that whatever happens to your unique style, whether it turns into a genre or not, it doesn't matter. That's for other people to worry about. What's important if you want to be an artist, and not everybody does, and that's absolutely fine. If you want to be a true artist, then number one, your goal is to constantly be developing your unique style. And that is a living, breathing thing that never stops developing. And yes, that does mean you're gonna go through periods when everyone has no idea what you're doing and thinks you're rubbish. And other periods where you're the flavor of the month and everyone thinks you're an absolute genius, if you're lucky. But that's what's so hard about being an artist. But that's what's so great about being an artist as well. Because we don't do it because it's easy, do we? We do it because it's hard. And that is why, in a sense, it's so much harder to be an artist because you cannot focus on external success. You have to focus on your internal success on your own development. You are searching for something constantly. You're never satisfied. Whereas if you want more certainty, if you want to follow the program, if you want to fit in, which is fine too, then you're more likely to want to be a craftist, making more versions of what already exists. I can promise you, if you have, like I did, try so many things, focused on production quality, focused on better equipment, focused on loads of different genres, and still there's something missing in your music, then that is pointing to the fact that you are actually, at your heart, an artist. And you're gonna have to face that, what can be a brutal, harsh reality and accept the fact that you may well be constantly dissatisfied because as an artist, it is that dissatisfaction that drives you forward. You're always going to be making something new. You're always going to be experimenting. It's a moving target. You're always going to be moving forward. But I can promise you from my experience that now I am doing that. And it has its own problems, but they're infinitely better problems than feeling trapped by genre, feeling trapped by the craft, finding certainty, which is like a, a sticking plaster over a festering wound, finding certainty in craft, making ever better versions of the same thing. If you can't stand the idea of that, if that feels like hell to you because it did to me for years and I literally I could not make music anymore because that's what I was doing the same thing over and over again if you're like me and you can't handle that idea if that sounds like hell then you want to be an artist <laughs>